Good evening. Rail passenger groups in the northwest have today condemned a decision to transfer rolling stock from a crowded line out of Manchester to routes in the home counties. Nine Transpennine Express trains are to be switched to Chiltern Rail. Stuart Flinders is here now with more details. Stuart. Thanks, Annabelle. First Transpennine Express has been running services across the north of England since 2004. Its current franchise is due to end in 2015. They're currently in the process of bidding for a new one. In 2013, the company carried 25 million passengers. One of the most busy and overcrowded routes is between Manchester and Leeds and Hull. And yet it's that service that's losing rolling stock. Nine of the 70 trains are being moved to Chiltern Railways in the home counties, a move that Travel Watch North West says is crazy and scandalous. The first Transpennine Express routes in and out of Manchester are so overcrowded that according to government figures, at peak rush hour times, nearly a quarter of passengers are forced to stand. They usually have only a couple of uh, carriages. Um, the facilities are not very good on board. There's not enough seats as we, uh, as we board trains now. M many people are buying season tickets and still standing the whole journey. In fact, the early morning Manchester to Middlesbrough service is the third most crowded in the country. News that the company will now lose nine of its 70 trains has outraged rail passenger groups. It's uh, completely unexpected and something that should never really happen. It's penalising the travellers in the northwest yet again. Trans Pennine Express recently acknowledged a problem with overcrowding. Uh, we're currently talking to the rolling stock leasing market and to the department to see where we can replace these vehicles from. Um, the challenge, as I say, is that it's a very constrained market. Longer term, there's about a billion pounds worth of investment going into the north of England for electrification, for new trains and so on. Um, but there's a short term period where the diesel fleet, high quality diesel fleet, is really critical to these services in the north. If the cuts went ahead, it's estimated there'd be 30,000 fewer seats on Trans Pennine routes every week. This is one of the most overcrowded routes in, in, in the north. Uh, we shouldn't be transferring rolling stock down to the southeast. We should be getting more rolling stock. The Department for Transport says passengers shouldn't be concerned. It says it'll find rolling stock from elsewhere and passenger journeys won't be affected. Stuart Flinders, BBC Northwest Tonight.